Hello, I'm Desi Beagle. I'd like to welcome you to my presentation on health wearable devices and their applications. This presentation is for an informatics course at Kennesaw State University. Today I will be presenting an overview of health wearable devices and their applications. By the end of this presentation, you will have learned what are health wearable devices, the history of health wearable devices, some applications for health wearable devices and their specific target markets, current market of health wearable devices, as well as a future outlook of the industry, and lastly, followed by a summary. What are health wearable devices? Well, they're a category of hand-free devices and they utilize information systems and they can be worn as accessories, infused into our clothing, or even implanted into a body with the ability to send and receive data via the internet or Bluetooth. Some tracking capabilities that fitness wearable and health devices have include heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, sleep quality and quantity, distance traveled, whether walking, running, biking, swimming, as well as calories burned, location, global positioning system. The history of health wearable devices. It all started back 220 years ago with Thomas Jefferson, who invented the first pedometer to measure steps here in the US. The next invention was 1921 polygraphs, which actually measured physiological responses like pulse rate, blood pressure, and skin response. And those were invented by John Larson. And then fast forwarding in to 2006 with Nike, Nike collaborated with Apple and they launched a Nike Plus iPod, which actually integrated distance, calories, and reported it through a participant's headphones so they had real time uh, live data to help them improve their progress. Next, we'll take a look in 2013, Zephyr Life. They actually developed the first commercially available comprehensive patient monitoring system. So this was a remote system, very uh, state-of-the-art for our medical community of wearable devices. And now into 2019, Garmin uh, developed the Fenix 5X Plus. So this is a multi-sport watch and you can store music, monitor your oxygen saturation levels while exercising at rest, as well as sleep monitoring, altitude acclimation, smart payments where you don't have to have your credit card, and a plethora of other Let's discuss applications for health wearable devices in medicine. There currently is a fall detection lifeline pendant. There's an auto alert option built in sensor that notifies lifeline response center if someone falls and is unconscious potentially. There's also baby smart socks that will detect oxygen saturation and heart rate of your baby and notify you immediately via smartphone or watch if levels become low. There's also insulin monitoring devices and they continuously administer insulin throughout the day and help you adhere to your medication. There's also wireless electrocardiography monitors. Did you know um, in my exercise physiology class wires in traditional machines can get tangled and that actually leads to potential um, inaccurate readings and that can really um, detect or not detect a heart condition in someone. So a few of the benefits are declining death rates from early detection if someone has fallen, if their insulin has rose or has lowered, as well as the financial benefits of telemedicine. 
Next, let's discuss applications for health and wearable devices in sports and fitness. Millions of athletes rely upon fitness wearable devices day to day. One of the devices available is athletic clothing that actually monitors musculoelectrical activity, giving you power output in real time. There is also millions of people utilizing Garmin devices like watches. Triathletes utilize swim, swim stroke efficiency as well as workout type repetitions. This is a very beneficial feedback that is provided from the Garmin app or the athletic clothing line app that will really help coaches as well as athletes improve their performance uh, faster than they would otherwise if they're recording on a sheet of paper. So again, a lot of these devices have free apps and they're a companion that really helps drive performance faster for the coach as well as the athlete. Lastly, for applications, we're going to discuss employee well-being programs. So there's a lot of health and lifestyle wristbands out in market, and the majority of them really help improve employee sedentary behaviors while they're sitting in the office. So some of the watches will actually buzz and say, get up. So that's very beneficial for employees as well as the employers because as I list a few of these benefits, um, you'll notice this is reducing um, costs for the employer, but also improving the health and happiness of the employee, which leads to um, improved employee retention and greater engagement. So for the employer, that this is win-win since they're more likely to stay if they feel valued, happy, and are engaged employees. Fitbit also provides a valuable cor corporate partnership that helps drive your program and gives you real data analytics to kind of help you uh, determine which direction you want to go with your employee well-being program. Let's dive into the current market of health wearable devices. So here I've devised a small table that will highlight the medical as well as lifestyle, fitness, uh, sports specific devices with their names, cost, tracking capabilities in the area of the body. So as you'll notice, there's wrists for both the Garmin device and the Fitbit charge. So those are primarily utilized for lifestyle, corporate wellness, as well as fitness. The Quartio Core Wireless EKG Tracker. So that is uh, right on the sternum. And that device, again, really helps cardiologists detect any heart rhythms as well as the respiratory rate and changes in heart rate or skin temperature and physical activity. The top uh, device was the clothing kit. So that, again, um, allows athletes to utilize in real time tracking their power output and really improving their performance inside the gym and also on the track. There's a bright future outlook of the industry with an explosion of medical wearables that help physicians manage chronic conditions leading to increased longevity. There will also be greater fitness wearable utilization with employers uh, using Fitbit and Garmin. There's going to be great frequency of device usage with improved applications using your smartphone and also ease of use will be improved with apps as well as the fitness wearable and very cool valuable biometric tattoos will also hit mainstream. To summarize, historically um, pedometers were invented in 1788 here in the U.S. Uh, Fast forwarding to 2006 where Nike and Apple first collaborated to launch the Nike Plus iPod. With current market, including Fitbit Charge 3s and the Baby Smart Sock technology, and then health wearable device applications like medical monitoring, as we had mentioned, sports, fitness, and employee wellness. The future of health wearable devices is going to be improved with ease of use, helping manage health conditions, and increase longevity for medical professionals. Thank you and have a great day.